it out. We have just cut a piece of metal. Well, that is absolutely smashing. Just a few little burrs on it. Absolutely brilliant. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I've got something super cool to show you. I got a new toy. Guys, this thing is absolutely magnificent. So I've just mitered up some lovely wood, made it like a picture frame. And then here we've got a lovely piece of steel tubing and it's cut through it like a hot knife through butter. The blade on this thing is absolutely magnificent. And the adaptability of the saw, the flexibility of the saw, the way the platen rotates and indexes, the way the mitre works, all of the controls on this are really, really good stuff. And then on top of that, everything's made out of aluminium. Not a lot of this saw is made out of lumps of plastic. This is all, ouch quite solidly built and a lovely little clamp yeah honestly absolutely absolutely magnificent and then of course you know you get the piece of wood with the screws in it <laughs> let's have a look and see how it copes with this <laughs> look at that look at that that's absolutely brilliant it's just chopped through that as well steel wood ducting mdf brilliant absolutely brilliant first of all hello um yeah so evolution sent me this magnificent new toy to have a play with and to show you guys uh, they sent it to me for free um, they also sent me some other bits and pieces to cut with it but it is really quite innovative um, so first of all a big thank you to you guys as in my subscribers and the people that are watching this because you are the guys that really help make all of this happen so i appreciate that and i hope that what i'm going to show you today and um, the way it works is a little bit different from perhaps the standard power saws that you might have seen out there in the marketplace. So without further ado, let's get into this bad boy and see how it works. I'm actually really quite excited about this, to be fair, because um, Normally, you know, when you get free products, they're sort of 10 quid or something. This one's a little bit more expensive. <laughs> the Evolution R210 Compound Mitre Saw. So, how does this work? What makes it different from everybody else's saw? Well, first of all, the clamp is quite cool in the sense that uh, it'll hold flat stuff and it'll also hold circular stuff. So that's quite cool. Ah. Now the safety interlocks to stop you from hurting yourself accidentally. So that's quite a nice feature. So as you can see here, when I, when I release this interlock handle here, this rotates around. And this is all made from aluminium aluminum for, for the Americans <laughs> but ultimately um, the base is aluminium the uh, the housing is aluminium the the, pla the the handle is plastic now the other thing that these guys have uh, have told me is that this blade is quite special if you look at the blade it obviously rotates in this direction there's a little arrow here showing which direction the blade rotates in but if you look at the blade itself it's got little tungsten tips on every second tooth every other tooth is bent in the opposite direction and has a diamond coating on it 
well, I say diamond, I'm not sure if it's a diamond coating, but it's certainly a coating um, which looks as though it will cut both wood and metal. And this blade quite clearly states that it's been made in Japan. So this is an English design saw. And the blade is made in Japan. I think, to be honest, everybody wants to see it working, don't they? Let's have a go. Let's let's assemble it. Let's. Uh, so if we tweak this bad boy here, look at that. Oh yeah. So it's got. Um, so it's got latching positions. Uh, you don't have to use the latch positions, but what's quite good is is you can see over on this side here the angle and it's every 15 degrees it latches at so once it's latched you can use this little control knob here to lock it down lock it in position i'm going to go for a straight cut and then with this control knob here you can extend the uh the guides and then you can clamp on this side or you can clamp on that side so that's all really quite cool. And then on the back here, there's a large knobby and you can use that to adjust the compound angle of the mitre saw, which goes between 45 degrees and zero degrees. This is gonna be so useful for loads of projects. This is gonna be awesome. Right, okay, um, let's put the bag on the back. And that's quite nice and simple as well. That's just a little clip there. There we go, the, uh, the dust bag fitted. And let's have a go at cutting something and see how we do. Right then, so we've got a few different pieces to cut here. First of all, let's just uh, make sure that that blade is, uh, is all well fitted. Yeah, that all looks good. Okay, so we're plugged in and we're turned on. Let's just check that the blade rotates. Yes, it does, and that motor has got some serious kick to it. So obviously a very important part of all of this is safety first. Safety glasses engaged. Right. <laughs> Should I go wood for, yeah, you know what, let's do a bit of wood first. Let's, um, let's go with something nice and easy. Here we go, there's a little bit of MDF. So if we just... Screw, screw that up. <laughs> oh, this saw is going to be awesome for so many projects. Now, what's good, okay, is the saw blade is rotating in this direction, which means ultimately it's going to push the, the, the subject that you're cutting up against the back plate here. So, without further ado, if we push that handle in there, that then releases the saw to allow it to do its cut. And if we pull the handle on the back here, then the motor should start. So let's see how we do. Well, that was easy. Look at that. Beautiful cut as well. Perhaps let's just change. Let's say we're doing some kind of a picture frame or Let's change the angle slightly. Right. Look at that. Now we've got a beautiful mitre on those. That's magnificent. Very good. Okay, that's the easy, that's the easy stuff, isn't it? The wood. Let's have a go at something a little bit more challenging. Let's see if this multi-purpose blade will cut metal. I'll save the big tube till last. We're gonna go with this ducting here. And let's cut the ducting like that. All right, let's just change the mitre back to straight. There we go, you see how easy that was? And actually, you know what we could do? Is we could change the platen angle there we go let's change that platen angle right and let's lock this down all 
It's all quite well locked down. Let's have a go. And like a hot knife through butter. Look at that. That's magnificent. Okay, that's very thin metal. Now, this piece of tubing isn't thin, as you can hear. We rotate, we can rotate the, uh, the angle of the clamp there. There we go. So that clamp sits in the, uh, in the centroid of the circle. Okay. <laughs> That's absolutely amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Check it out. We have just cut a piece of metal and wood. And it's a beautiful cut as well. That is absolutely smashing. Just a few little burrs on it. That's an absolutely beautiful blade. What a fantastic saw. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Well, obviously, links will be in the description down below. As always, guys, thanks ever so much for watching. What a fantastic little product. English don't design much anymore. This one's quite cool. I'm quite pleased. So thank you very much, Evolution, for sending me this. Thank you ever so much for watching, guys and girls. I hope this has been uh, interesting and useful for you. Um, and as you can well imagine, this is going to get an awful lot of use in future projects. Don't forget to give us a good old thumbs up. Maybe put a comment in below. Perhaps there's things that you like about this. Perhaps there's things that you don't like about this. So make sure to do that. Cheers, guys. Take care. Have a good one. <laughs>